ball so if you don't have a ball no worries I included a printout on the blog so you can take it with you next time you go to the gym we'll be using your entire core today so a lot of people think of mostly abdominals when you say core I like to think of it as your entire body minus your arms minus your legs so we'll also be working your glutes and do some non-traditional core moves as well so grab your ball and let's get we're going to have our ball right behind us Take a look back there, make sure it's there. We're just going to do a nice easy warm up. We're gonna squat, tap the ball with your glutes, and you're gonna exhale, squeeze to come up. Down and up, and just like I said before, kind of glance down, make sure it hasn't moved. But the thing is, you're not sitting on the ball, just lightly tapping it. So nice easy squat right here. Warming up, make sure to keep your chest lifted. Your weight is in your heels. I'm not wearing shoes, but I like any excuse <laughs> to be barefoot. But if you need to wear shoes, for support, definitely wear shoes. So exhale, squeeze all the way up. You can stay here doing regular squats, or if you're ready for a challenge, you're gonna lift one leg off the floor, tap, lift, and squeeze. Tap, lift, and squeeze. And that's a little more exciting. <laughs> Good, nice deep breaths. Three more. Just lightly tapping the ball, two. If you have one leg up, we'll go ahead and switch. If you're doing both legs, go ahead and keep going. Exhale, breathe. My ball moved, but I'm not really touching it. Great job, three more. Two, and one. Next thing we're going to do, this one's kind of weird looking. We're going to straddle the ball. Toes are out. You're going to tap the ball through your glutes. Exhale, squeeze the ball on the way up. Targeting your inner thighs a little bit. Squeeze, squeeze so your chest stays nice and tall. And your abs are tight. We are working your core today, so keep your abs tight for about the next 10 minutes. Then we'll turn them off. Breathe. Whew. Four more. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and roll out into a plank position. So your legs are going to be on the ball. And the closer the ball is to your ankles, the harder this is going to be. So if it gets too hard, bring it up towards your thighs. If it's too easy, bring it down towards your ankles. So you're going to tuck your knees into your chest. Exhale, squeeze out. So every time you come out, try to make a nice straight plank. So a nice straight line from your head all the way through your legs, out through your toes. Nice deep breaths. Keeping everything tight and beautiful alignment. Great job. Let's do three more just like this. Three, two, and here's your challenge. You can either just stay right here or you're going to rotate, bending your knees, ball comes to the side, shoot it back out through the middle, to the other side, to the middle. If that's too much for you, just keep doing regular old knee tucks. You're still working your core. And each time you do this, you can modify to make it harder, make it easier. Just be where you need to be right now. Great job, two more. And one last thing you're gonna do right here in plank. You're either in those knee tucks, you're doing your side to side, or you're gonna take it into a pike. So your hips try to come up over your head, legs are as straight as possible. It's really hard to talk and do this one. <laughs> Keep going. Let's do five more. Four. Beautiful, nice straight legs. Last two, and last one. Walk your hands back to the ball. It's really no graceful way to do this. <laughs> and for this next one, the ball's gonna be about your hip bones. So walk your feet back just a little bit and find a spot where you feel pretty stable. If you feel like your legs are sliding all over the place, a good option is to place them against the couch, against the wall, just so you stay nice and still. So for this next one, if you have back concerns, I would skip this and do some like bird dogs, cat cows instead. If you have a healthy back, 
Balls right at your hip bones. You're gonna hinge from your hips. Hands can either go on your head or up by your ears for more of a challenge. You're gonna lift and squeeze. Down, lift, down and lift. So try to keep your arms close to your ears if you have them up. Hands can also be at your head, crossed at your chest. Your choice, lots of options to choose from. So if you have a healthy back and you wanna make this more of a challenge, when you come up, make sure to squeeze everything. Slight rotation to one side, back to center, lower down. Lift, small rotation, center, down. And make sure when you're lifting, you're not really hyperextending your back. Think about creating length and lift. So not really an arch sensation. You shouldn't feel any crunching in your back, any pulling, any pain. So really think about keeping your body nice and tall. Exhale, lift, raise up. Five more, or you'll do three more twists on each side. You got it. Beautiful job. One more each side. And you are done with those. So we'll go ahead and come all the way onto the floor. Your feet are gonna go on top of the ball. And for this one, go ahead and raise your hips up off the floor as high as they'll go. Make sure to keep full contact with your shoulders. Hands can press down at your sides. You're going to bend your knees in towards your chest. Straighten. Bend and straighten. So you inhale, exhale. So starting to get into your glutes, you'll probably feel this in your hamstrings as well. Hamstring ball curl. This is one of my favorite exercises. So try to keep your gaze up towards the ceiling as much as possible. Spine stays nice and straight. Lift your hips up a little higher if you can. Amazing job. If you want a challenge, you'll lift one leg off the ball and keep bending and straightening right there. So if you have one leg up, go ahead and switch. And remember, you can always repeat this workout up to two more times. So we'll go through everything, and then if you want to do it again, you can repeat. Awesome job. Keep up in that nice tall plank. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and lower your hips down. Bring your knees into your chest. We're going to walk our legs so that you can grab the ball with your legs pretty easily. So I like to bring mine out to the side just a little bit, bending the knees, just squeezing the ball. Hands are going to come behind your head. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck so they're nice and light. Try to keep your elbows in line with your ears. You're going to exhale. Lift your knees up, reach your elbows for your knees, inhale down. Great job. So working into those abdominals, every time you come up, try to come up a little bit higher. And every time you come up, try to keep those abs contracted and pull in together. So you don't want to do this one pushing your abs out. Try to pull everything in nice and tight. Amazing. Let's do five more. Breathe. Three, two, last one. Surprise! We're gonna hold it up. Tiny pulse. Pulse. Oh, you should be feeling this one by now. Great job. Five more. Three, two, and one. Lower it down. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to grab the ball with your ankles. So mine's a larger one. It's kind of heavy. So do what you can. You might be using a smaller centimeter bar, but if you need to um, walk the ball in closer to your legs to make it easier to lift, that's always an option too. So try to grab the ball with your ankles, and you're going to lift the ball, gently lower it down, exhale, and lift. Down and lift. Beautiful. So a couple options with your hands. They can either go behind your head, pressing into the floor next to you, or underneath your low back, if you feel your hips moving around, you need some more stability. Good, so nice deep breaths. Lifting all the way up. Beautiful. Let's do five more. Four, three, pressing your shoulders and your hips into the floor. Last one. So you can keep going right here, or here's an option. 
You're going to rotate the ball as you come up, rotate it as you come down. And that makes things a little more exciting. So this ball is kind of enormous, so I'm not rotating it very much, but do what you can. Let's do one more. All the way up, keeping your abs pulled in, all the way down, and release. So go ahead and stretch your arms up over your head. Take a nice big inhale, exhale. Think about what an amazing job you did. And then we'll slowly roll onto our stomach. Options if you have back concerns, stay here with a nice baby cobra. If you have a healthy back, you want to press all the way up, press all the way up. Make sure to keep your shoulders dropped down. And if you want to come up a little higher, bring your throat back and then your gaze up. Breathe. And go all the way down. Thanks for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Great job. You can repeat this up to two more times. And remember, for six packs, abs are really visibly strong core, combine it with cardio, clean eating. So I'll see you later. Thanks.